We were at a young adult dinner a few years ago, and I think Shanna, the associate minister at the time, had introduced us because we both worked at the same company at the time. And then we realized that we were from the same hometown in Texas. And we were friends for uh, quite a few years and then, you know, realized that we were actually more than friends. <laughs> and what they're doing here is something that I really am responding to. Weaving of art and music and the message and all of these things that I feel like are important to me in my life are all sort of coming out on Sunday morning. You're surrounded by uh, warmth, um, love, the spirit of giving. The messages are certainly also important because it is more of that kind of intellectual exercise where at the end I'm always asking myself what behavior am I going to change in my life as a result of this, if any. I love the idea that you talked about, about being able to think through what the sermon is each week. I, we have great conversations, whether it's after the service or during the week. Being fortunate enough to have that as part of our relationship, I think we're very fortunate. I think when it comes to making a financial pledge, what you're doing is committing a small piece of what you've been blessed with to making sure that this place can keep going, that the lights can stay on, that the organ can stay tuned. It's an individual decision and you have to look at how you're spending your time and your resources and how is the way you're spending your time and resources reflective of your values.